this is Tim Montressor. I'm here at Urban Assault, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we're hosting the 2017 Iron City Classic. So there's been a somewhat of a resurgence in the last few years I've noticed in regards to the growth of 10-man or mechanical play or playing on these big fields and playing the tournament paintball that I grew up watching played in the 90s and the early 2000s and it just kind of faded away for a while. And so when I came out to Urban Assault lately, I saw this place that was literally trapped in time. It was in such pristine condition left over from the MPPL from the 90s to the early 2000s and I got in contact with the owner, Phil Thompson. I said, you know what, let's make some phone calls and see what we can organize. We only had about 87 days to get the 2017 event going, but believe it or not, we sold out. So we originally had a cap of 16. Then we said, you know what, we can actually squeeze 18 teams into the schedule. Let's get everybody in. We actually ended up turning away four or five teams because we wanted to guarantee the quality of our first event, make sure that everybody had a good time. These fields, this was my first tournament. I won with Houston Heat in 1995, right here on this field. So it brings back a lot of memories. And what Tim was trying to do is just get back some of the players that have stopped playing paintball. Like there's a lot of guys out here who probably haven't played in you know, five, 10 years. Some of the old school teams and the players are here. And you have some of the new school guys. You have the guys from 187, Impact, Houston Heat, Tampa Bay Damage, mixing in. And then just people that just want to play paintball they could play out here because you played on the mom's field and then you went into the woods and, and played. And then a lot of those kids, guys on Revel, they never really played in the woods, but they're getting ready to play on Hyperball today. So it's a little bit of a mix of everything. And it's a long season for a lot of these guys that play in the NXL and they play the Millennium and any other regional leagues. This is that void. There's no pressure here. Whatever happens, happens, and you just go out there and have fun, man. And that's what, that's what Tim is trying to get out here. Arm bands, left arm, please. Do that nice time footage. So in the classic format, we bring back the rules that have been used in paintball since the inception of the tournament level game. So you go back to counting points, right? Every live body is worth one point. So you start playing 10 on 10, and at the end of the game, whenever you shoot everybody or you hang the flag or whatever, whenever the time runs out, every live body that you have left is worth one point. Every person that you eliminate is worth two. If you pull the opponent's first flag, it's 20 points. You hang it, it's 50 points. So it goes back to that old nostalgia feeling of saying, you know what, we actually have to physically go grab the flag and hang it, right? That's what paintball was, it was a capture the flag game. So there's no buzzers here, there's no scoreboard in regards to a time clock. You have to carry your own watches, just like back in the day. It's a 10 minute game, you have to track the time yourself. And that's just classic paintball, right? I watch guys like Adam Gardner and Tom Cole. They're up there counting points with their score sheets and I like that. That's how paintball was when I started. And that was the fun and there was a little bit of luck in it. There was a little bit of skill and you get away from that methodical robot type of play paintball. That was really my motivation, is I want to see all these guys compete in this type of format. What up? Paintball.
on, come on. You mother. We just had a blast. You know, I've played in the woods, I've played hyperball, but the mountains field was really tricky for us to learn. Having three different types of fields to play was really awesome. We brought out teammates who haven't played for seven, eight years and hooked them up with gear. Being able to play with people like that and still win the tournament and have a lot of fun is, uh, is a lot different than what we would normally do day to day. It was cool to see a kind of broad demographic participate. Uh, I look at my team, you had people like me who play pro now, and then I had guys like Dave Painter who's, you know, 50, runs Fox 4, and he had just as much fun as I did. So, you know, I think this is the type of thing that would be really good for the sport for them to do over again. Company 3! Company! 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 How many companies? Five companies? Five companies! Company! <laughs> the overall atmosphere out here was just great. Everybody was having a really good time. Obviously, we're out here playing paintball, so it's always going to be a good time. But yeah, just a little break from the normal stuff that we always do. I appreciate Bad Company for having me and Tim Montressor for everything they did put this event on. So I would recommend it to anybody. And uh, next time that they have this event out here at this field, more teams should definitely come out. Our space! Our space! Get it out, Ralph! Hey, Ralph, that is a G! Ralph, that is a G! G2! Okay. Just scare the shit out of me. Here you go, Ralph. Ralph. I got it just the way you like it. Nice and tight. He's been filling up pause, and I just been taking. That something in this flies back and gets you in the face. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. So you know, if you guys win, we're fighting after the game. Just hey, just me and you though. We'll just pretend like we'll just pretend. I'll put my gun down. <laughs> Jesus, Tim is a Nazi about the goggles, right? <laughs> Stupid vision. Hey, thank you for doing this. It was a pain in the ass. Sorry, <laughs> no, sorry if we were extra pain in the ass. No, I like it. I've been as absolutely nice as I could possibly be. <laughs> I had an honor to play with some of the best paintball players in the world, and I played with them and against them. Um, I think what Tim is doing is really good. It's super important that we figure out how to make paintball fun again, and I think everyone came this weekend had a really good time. We spend a ton of money to do what we do, so we might as well enjoy ourselves. So the more stuff we do like this, I think the better. Make paintball fun again, man. Thank you.